In this video, we introduce a new input style using the wrist as a joystick to perform common touchscreen gestures to interact with a smartwatch using the same hand wearing the watch. Interacting with a smartwatch often necessitates both hands for scrolling or gesturing. However, these simple tasks become challenging when the user's hands are occupied with holding objects or busy with other tasks. While some applications allow tilt to be used for input, it can be cumbersome as the screen is moved away from the user's view. We explore using the wrist for continuous input as a potential solution for these problems. We build our prototype smartwatch using a 2-inch display and a plastic watch strap augmented with 12 infrared proximity sensors and a piezo vibration sensor connected to an Arduino Do. The user can wear this device to draw common gestures by moving the wrist. The user can use pinch to indicate the start and end of a gesture. Pinch detection was implemented using a piezo sensor. This allows us to turn on the proximity sensors only when a pinch is detected. We implemented four applications to illustrate the potential usage scenarios of wrist whirl. With this gesture shortcut app, the user can draw a triangle to open the calendar app or an L to quick dial a number. With this music player app, the user can scroll through a list of songs by swiping left or right. The user can also pan a map using swipe. Double tap switches the mode to allow the user to zoom in and out by rotating the wrist. Finally, we show the user can play video games using our input. In this Tetris game, the user can tilt the wrist to control a Tetramino. Similarly, the user can play Fruit Ninja using richer wrist movements. We conducted a study to investigate how well people can use the wrist as a joystick to draw eight touchscreen gestures in four different conditions. Gesturing with hand down when standing, gesturing with hand up when standing, gesturing with hand up when walking, gesturing with hand down when walking. Our result provides evidence to support using wrist whirl as a unique input method for one-handed continuous gestural input on smartwatches. For more information on our study and details, please see our paper.